people hate about this kind of trophy hunting is the trophy aspect. They hate, if they love animals, seeing people like you who have a lot of money going over there, hunting down endangered species, and then proudly boasting of what you've done and, and posing for pictures, which you then uh, look uh, like you're celebrating. That, that's that's urban, And they, did, they do hate it. You know that. You've read the reaction. Yeah, and I, th I think hates are, you know, and look, I'm not, hey, and speaking of that, but I want to go back to it. That's urban sentiment versus science, okay? Urban sentiment is hate. I'm being a part of science. All these countries I hunted in, Piers, all across Afri Africa, all across Central Asia, they put these programs. I'm a member of a group of people who care enough to put their money where their mouth is. Now, as far as celebrating the hunt, I was, I, uh, Piers, I didn't, you know, look at it. I grew up very, very poor in poverty, Piers, okay? Uh, when I went hunting as a child, it was my granddad and my dad. We looked at hunting as a celebration and a camaraderie together as a special time together. And that's how I was. I understand these people don't understand it. They didn't grow up that way. Okay, so Piers, you know, just like the gun thing. You've been attacked just the way I am about your views of guns, okay? And I, 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 we're human beings, both you and I. I don't think you should be hated because you believe that. I don't think I should be hated because I lead my life a certain way. You know, they're, they're, they're threatening my children, peers. They're threatened to kill me. The FBI is alerted. The Las Vegas SWAT team is on alert. I have security going everywhere I go. That's the hate that I'm dealing with. Okay, has it made you? Has it issue. made you? Has the reaction, uh, however well reasoned or unreasoned, has the, the the venom of the reaction and the amount of the reaction made you think twice about going through with this? It hasn't made me think twice, but appears to be honest and 100. percent I had no idea that it would be this visceral. I had no idea that they would be attacking my two-year-old daughter and my seven-year-old daughter and my beautiful young wife and they'd want to kill us all and burn us and make a Saw movie out of us, Piers. These are the type of things that I'm getting, okay? Now look, you can say what you want to say about hunting and say what you want to say about me and say, okay, it's an egotistical thing. It's not an egotistical thing. It's a belief, system in, con a belief in conservation for me, Piers. That's what it is. And, 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 and you have a belief about firearms. You have a belief about a lot of things. I respect your belief. Man, if I was right there, Piers, I'd hug you, okay? I I'm a good human being. Just because I have a different belief than them, I don't hate them. I respect them. It's just like Bob Barker, okay? He said what he said about it, all right? And, 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 and Bob is a well-intended person. He would not say these things about killing my kids, all right? But if I want to learn about The Price is Right, and I want to learn about Plinko, I'll talk to Bob Barker. If I want to learn about conservation, I'm going to defer to the experts at the IUCN. I'm going to defer to the experts at CITES, okay? And the fact of the matter is, all this hate that you're talking about, the one thing I will say to Bob Barker is, the price was wrong. The contribution would have been much higher, and, the, and everybody would have been much better for it, even up to a million dollars. They scared these people away because they didn't want to go through what I'm going through now.